Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're gonna go over how we make a chat system for our existing lobby. Now this is gonna refer to one of the previous videos with the lobby setup using the Heathens paid package. And we're basically gonna continue off from there, so I still have the main menu set up and the lobby manager and so on as we set it up as last time. And so, yeah, the only things that I've actually changed is the chat holder that I, is just a vertical layout group with a content size fitter and i made a chat message prefab as well which is just a text mesh pro and as you can see the message now pops up down here in the bottom left and as i copy it the messages will line up that's all there is to it i've done no more setup this is all basic unity stuff so i don't want to go too much into that and first of all thank you very much to heathen for sponsoring this video and yeah let's get right into it so the first thing i'm going to do is we're going to make a new script that i'm just going to call lobby chat which is what's essentially going to handle both sending the messages and receiving the messages so let me start by just clearing out what we already have here which we do not need and also now that we have this script let's just look into how we first of all receive the messages and how we send the messages so the lobby manager actually already holds a method to oh sorry no the lobby that we can grab data from from the lobby manager already holds information as to sending a message so the first thing we want to do is just grab the lobby manager and essentially whenever we want to send a message we want to check with the lobby that's already in the lobby manager and we want to just send the message through that lobby it's super easy Helen's made this so simple to do and second step which is one thing sending the message using the lobby that's in the lobby manager the other thing is they actually have a lobby chat director tool which eventually gives us a callback for when a lobby message has been received so we also want to to take this in and as you can see it takes the lobby chat message parameter so let's make a public void message received function I'm just going to call it that and we can call it a lobby chat message and we can just call this message like that and now we can subscribe this to the on message received down here so i'm just going to add that and of course let's add the lobby chat to our main menu script which is just why i wanted might as well drag the lobby manager in already and down here we can add the lobby chat and message received method up here so whenever that the lobby now receives a message this will fire off with the information this holds information as to when was the message received what user sent the message what is the message and so on so essentially just to show you how the callback really looks in case you just want to get it over with very quickly you can see here we have the lobby manager lobby and then there is a send message function now you don't put this in the update loop i would absolutely not do that but essentially this just sends a message so this is whatever our message is going to be and boom it'll automatically handle sending all the information over and then down here once you've received some information that can be both your own message or someone else's message you now have all the information available over here which is for example message dot message here that's the string of the actual message that we've received but we can also see the lobby that it was sent within we can get the data as bytes we can see the type we can get the send down we can get the receive time so we have some good things available for us here and essentially let's just handle displaying it first and then we can handle sending it afterwards so this is why i want the references to the things that i already set up so that was the message holder and then there was the message prefab which was just a text mesh pro i'm just going to do it like that then here i'm gonna spawn on our new message and for that sake let's just call this one chat data i think that makes more sense and i'm just gonna spawn this one in so this was the message prefab and we'll spawn that under the message holder and that should line it up perfectly and then we can say new message dot text equals to i'm gonna set a little dollar sign in front so we can ingrain code into it and the very first thing i want to display is who sent it so we can do go chat data dot sender dot name then we can do the little colons a space and then we can send the actual message i'll do chat data dot mess and there we go that should be it now we can receive a message and we will actually spawn now one thing i might want to do really quickly is just check if there are too many child objects as a chat in there already so i can just do the message holder dot get child oh actually that would be child count and let's just say if it's greater than something like eight i would just want to destroy the oldest message so i'll just do message holder dot get child at position zero dot game object and now we're eventually essentially if there's more than eight count of children it'll just destroy the oldest child right so this should work now we can receive a message and we won't get spammed with too many messages on screen now we need a good way to send the message obviously this setup isn't great so essentially what i want to do is let's just take a input form field so let's just do serialize field private gmp underscore input field and this will be our message input and in here i want to say if input dot get key down and that would be the key code dot return which is that's your enter button and whenever that we now get the enter button i want to send the chat message but that message should be whatever is in the message input or text and we can also just for good measure check the length of this just to make sure that there actually is something there a length and let's just say the message has to be greater than two digits or something like that and essentially this should work so let's just go set up this message input really quickly and there we go that should essentially just be the input setup now in the main menu manager we've got to set all the references so we have the message holder we have the message prefab which remember that was just a text mesh pro and then we have the input as well so i can just drag in here and now let's first of all just test it locally to make sure i didn't miss something so i started up start the lobby i can type in some text hello press enter and that will go and i'll send the message hello 
stuff. I think we should go and test this and see if this uh, works properly online. I also, just for good measure, want to actually clear the lobby or the message input.txt just because I find that to be a lot nicer, like so. Okay, yeah, let me try and build it and open it up in another computer and then you can see how it all works. So here we go. This is now set up. I can now go and invite my other account and they have now joined the lobby. We can enter some text here, which is just a test message and they can see it and I can enter a message over here. And as you can see, this just works perfectly fine. So now we have a functioning message system within our lobby and it was really just as easy as that. Pretty much, what, five minutes of work to get all of this done. And yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you. Go show a lot of love to Heathen as well. Buy their package either through GitHub or on the Unity Asset Store. And I just hope that you have a wonderful day.